Yeah, you know, everyone, here we are back in the hot house again. We're doing a update on Raffinacme flanginelli. Uh, it's a bit of a tongue twister of a name. Actually, at the moment, she's uh, growing. Uh, it's a uh, tuberous plant, as you can see by the base of it. And uh, they have got new growth. Uh, this one here is about uh, the growth on it. It's about nearly 9 to 10 inches tall. And then I've got another one over here that's fairly tall. And you can see that the plant is really healthy. Now's the time to start watering this plant as it's uh, using up its uh, resources. So, but still, only water it... Uh, when the soil gets really dry because you don't want these to dry out completely I'm hopefully uh, hoping this year they might flower and um, produce uh, some seeds but I don't know uh, like I said I've had these um, plants for quite a fair few years and uh, oh god uh, like 16 years and I grew these from seed the plants I actually got these off were huge uh, the the base uh, would have been at least oh, I don't know uh, 8 inches in diameter but they were growing in a um, a, uh, a a hot uh, green tunnel and in the ground, so they had the perfect conditions. You know, uh, they didn't have to really get watered because they were getting the the moisture and the nutrients they needed out of the the natural soil and their root system would have been going down so uh, yeah um, they're doing really well uh, you can see the lush green leaves yeah it was sort of like a bit of a uh, pain when it first started to grow and I, I never got the name of the plant of the original plant and I couldn't remember the name so after all those years you know trying to work out what the name of this plant was I only found out uh, early this year after doing a bit more research on the internet and taking photos and trying to see whether um, anything will come up with the photos that I put on the internet and yep uh, these are the ones this is the plant that it um, come under uh, actually uh, if you remember on the last video there I think there was a vine still growing on the uh, plant it was growing I actually cut the vine and um, propagate the uh, cuttings and I'll show you uh, them in a minute they are actually growing I was just I, I was just amazed yeah <laughs> I thought the plant actually dies back all the way to the uh, tuber well not all the way to the tube to the main trunk as you can see the main trunk uh the amount of times it's growing like it sort of dies back and then comes back up again it, it dies back to a certain degree then it sort of uh, sprouts out like all these old uh, branches here were the original was the vine, the old vine that died back and it's grown from the side. 
So I suppose in a way you could take a cutting like off that there in its dormant period and uh, let it heal up and uh, propagate it and hopefully get a uh, plant that comes up because I've uh, never really found out much about uh, this plant. I'll have to check up on it again. But anyway, all right. I'll uh, go and have a look at the um, the cuttings that I took off this plant. Okay, I actually brought the uh, pot over here uh, as where it was. Uh, I, I couldn't uh, record it. And as you can see, I've got uh, how many uh, cuttings in there? I've got one, two, three, four, five, five cuttings. Uh, there's one that's not doing too well, and that's this one here. Um, you know, um, hopefully, uh, it's, it's got some, sh uh, sprouting on the side of the branch, but not as much as what the other ones are. And, uh, they're doing okay, as you can see by the leaves. And they're just in a, um, uh, perlite and some peat moss, uh, with a bit of, um, potty mix that's uh, been sifted out a lot of what a lot of good drain it's got a lot of drainage in it and uh i think that's the the uh, key to the success of these plants um growing taking off and plus also too uh during the winter time i when I'd done the cuttings towards, I think it would have been uh, late winter. Yeah, it would have been about late winter. I let them dry out. I just stuck them in sand. And uh, then once they dried out, I put them in this uh, media, this mix, potty mix. And uh, just to see what would happen. Because actually, I thought, oh yeah, they'll just die and, you know, will to away because I didn't realise that you could take cuttings off this plant. I will want to have a look later down the track and see, um, uh, actually, uh, in winter, because what I'll do is I'll uh, transplant these plants and put them in their individual pots. And I want to see what the base going to look like with the root system yeah you saw like I suppose in a way it's going to look like that uh, start to produce a uh, tuber and uh, yeah so I'm really wrapped you know so like uh, <laughs> just trying this out uh, with cuttings and uh, the outcome you know out of uh, five I've got four that are established that this one here looks it's a bit set back but uh other than that it's still green so i'm i know it's um taking these are actually on a heat mat in the hot house so they're getting a bit of warmth uh during the winter time to uh promote growth and uh, they've done well. So, Rakdophone, Rakdon, Nakmi, Flangenini. What a tongue twister. <laughs> I'll tell you what, not good with these names. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, just an update on this plant. Uh, just giving you a, uh, a brief view of uh, what the plant's looking like at this moment. I'll do a bit of an update uh, down the track when it's uh, a lot more taller um, because the vine can grow fairly tall. And... Uh, where it is it's got about another four feet before it will hit the uh the roof of this hot house 
the reason why I've got depth in this hot house because normally if if this because this is actually a sunken sunken uh, floor I've actually dug out the uh, base of the hot house about uh, two feet and put a foundation and um, uh, put some brickwork as the wall then put the hot house on top of it so I've got depth so all these stands that the, the cactus are s sitting on uh, actually how they're only about I don't know maybe uh, four inches above the base of the hot house because these hot houses only stand around about say five foot tall and the peak would be roughly around about oh I would say eight feet tall maybe a bit less so I did this for that reason to give me height and uh, a bit more room because some of the uh, taller cactuses which I haven't got in here uh, would uh, be able to grow in here where I when I first started I had a lot of the uh, taller cactuses in here um, not many uh, mainly the uh, vine type plants that are growing like the calico that's growing there uh, she's starting it's a bit old starting to die back uh, but uh, yeah actually I've got uh, my elephant's foot here it's starting to grow too Dioscoria elephanti, it's uh, uh, growing there. So, yeah, look, uh, so there's just an update on the flangelini. Uh, just to give you an idea of where she is at this moment. Um, like, I think the other video was uh, roughly about the same time as the uh, Dracocena video so yeah hope you uh, like this bit of uh, an update on this plant um, enjoy the video and if you like the video uh, hit that like button and if you've got any comments uh, more than welcome to leave any comments down below and uh, you know ask any question if I can help you uh, you know but other than that we'll uh, catch you on the next one Cheers.